you go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stephen Crook and welcome to my channel. Today the painting is based kind of on the Goonies. As a kid I was obsessed with, and most boys and girls are obsessed with this, is adventure. Uh, for me it was Indiana Jones and Star Wars. And then when I saw Goonies it was an adventure story with kids. So suddenly you related to it even more. Cycling around your town with your mates, going on adventures, exactly what you know I did as a kid. That was quite fantastical. Goonies was weird, scary. The Fratellis were like some type of character out of a Lynch film. It was all weird and new and mashed together and this beautiful film that I fell in love with and I still love. There's a character in it called Sloth, as you all know, who starts out as like this monster, this freak that Chunk is scared of, but then after a few seconds, suddenly we fall in love with this character. We fall in love with him, Chunk falls in love with him. He becomes part of the Goonies. You no longer see him as different or strange. You see him as your mate and he becomes one of the crew. Now there's this scene when he flies in right at the end to save the guys from Fratelli's on the boat. He comes in, stabs his knife into the sails of the boat, slides down very awkwardly, not like a superhero who was being the hero, but he wasn't like graceful. He rips open his shirt to reveal Superman, you know, the, the archetypal hero. And now I must admit, I don't like Superman as a character. I find him very bland, very boring. As a kid, I was always into Spider-Man. I like the, the, the characters that were flawed. Um, but Superman does stand for one thing, and that's what they used in the film, as he stands for a hero. He stands for this, this American dream that's up there somewhere. And I, I like the juxtaposition that the filmmakers did when they ripped open his shirt and he's got Superman and he's, he's sloth and he's not the American hero, he's not Captain America. So I wanted to do a mashup there. Now there's an artist called Alex Ross who paints Superman in such a perfect sort of, it sounds weird, but sort of this American-y way, this, this chiseled, this um, airbrush, everything's perfect. And there's this very famous one of Superman doing that, ripping open his shirt with this big muscle and this Superman logo Alex Ross has done. And it's a wicked painting. Now I want to, with this painting, is take that painting and take away Superman's head and put Sloth there. And you know, that to me is how Sloth is. He's the superhero, he's the real hero. Fuck Superman. We're gonna mash these together and see what we get. Enjoy the video. Go.
Mooney, Super Sloth. Uh, I love the painting, I love the colours, I love the composition, I love the juxtaposition between the perfect physique of Superman and the uh, less than perfect face of Sloth. I love that Sloth is way more interesting than Superman. I love how it all balances. I just love it. It came out so well. I like that I managed to get a balance between comic book look and pop art and realism, um, which was always going to be difficult. Um, mash them all together, and I think it's worked. Um, and I'm really, 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 really happy with the painting. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you like the painting, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Any other mashup ideas you have, let me know. Any memories of Goonies or Superman, let me know. I'd love to do more Goonies paintings. I really, really, really would. I've got one up in the old brain box. Please subscribe, of course. That. Um, it's wicked when you do, I love seeing the little number go up. I'm very close to 10,000, as soon as I hit 10,000 I'll be doing a giveaway. I've got lots of prints and original art that um, I think should be given away to thank you guys for supporting me. So please do subscribe. Um, and that's it, I shall see you in the next video. Take care and uh, Goonies never say die.